So I have four plants against this wall. Two different types of limes, a guava. So let me show you some of these bad boys are ripening up now. They turn yellow. That's screen from an aluminum. Uh, it's aluminum for like a screen door replacement. It keeps the the rats from getting them. So yeah, I smell the well, guavas smell really good. They smell really good. A guava, and then this is a banana I just put in earlier this year. And then this I put in earlier this year as well. This is PVC pipe, and it's uh, a gray water system from the laundry. So instead of water going, instead of the wash water going to the sewer, I have it come water plants. And you can see I just pick a valve for each plant, and I have one one valve's open. This this lime is being watered now, and the others are closed. Uh, and you can see them. They just will follow the closest one here. Comes right to the uh, drain and just uh, drains out and waters the plants. The washing machine, it's a high efficiency machine, but it still uses, I think, 10 gallons of load. So if you do the math, I'm getting this plant 10 gallons of water at least once a week because we do at least four loads a week. So I do that's 40 gallons a week, you know, times 50 weeks what is that I, don't, I can't even do the math is that 2,000 gallons of water that instead of going down the drain uh, goes to the plants so it's a lot of water it adds up and PVC pipe is cheap and this is easy to do I mean you got to put a hole in the wall but that's pretty easy you get a little stucco patch and then the other thing you have to do is you put a put a valve this gives you the option of either watering uh, out to the plants or to the sewer. I have a little handy sign in case somebody uses it. That's not me or Alicia. Uh, you can't use regular detergents because they have a high salts and sulfites and they're bad for your plants. You're not supposed to use hot water but you know when I first started doing this before I built the pipe I just would pull the drain out and water plants with hot water and they loved it so I don't know how true that is but most sites recommend not using hot water. And uh, you're not supposed to put things with that considered uh, black water stuff. Like, for example, we're washing cloth diapers now. And that's uh, not supposed to, according to the state of California, be put out to your plants. So the valve should be in this position for the diaper lo uh, laundry. And there it is. And this is just the air gap to keep uh, siphoning from happening. So you don't get back backflow. So if you can't put harsh detergent, what's a harsh detergent? Pretty much anything you're using right now, you know, all the typical brands at the store have salts and sulfites. So what are some alternatives? Well, we found this thing on Amazon they're called uh, soap nuts. We bought a bag of them. Here's what they look like. They're, uh, they're actually a dried fruit, not a nut. And when they get uh, wet, they make some suds and uh, just like soap. Not as much as a typical detergent, but for cleaning, Alicia and I have noticed it's it's the same. Alicia thinks that these do a better job of cleaning, but uh, to me it's the same. And you're supposed to use maybe, they, they, this comes with a little tea bag almost that you put in, like a cloth mini bag, and you put five in at a time, put it in your wash. And you're supposed to do about five loads, then replace them. So we have a little tally board, you know, so we mark it each time we do it, and then that way we know where we're at. And the nice thing is, I mean, I just, again, it's a dried fruit. I just compost it when I'm done with it, so there's no waste. There's no plastic bottles. There's no detergent going to this treatment plant. And there's, again, a couple thousand gallons of water that instead of going to the... Uh, sewage plant are going to the water my plants you know well we'll roll we're at it here look at this i just made this it's cooling off here granola and cookies Woo! anyway so this is simple to do and i encourage you to give it a go and gray water your plants